In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at four variations of a, an effect called the text masking. Now, don't let the name of this fool you. This is not about masking your text or letters on the screen. It's about masking what's ever on the screen with text. Let me show you how it works. I have a blue background here, and then I have my well-used little red cap. And if I go ahead and play this, nothing happens until I get to the first effect, which is called text blur. And you'll see immediately what it does. Two things. First of all, it blurs the background, anything that's in a higher track than the effect. And then it begins to crawl some text across the screen as it moves. Now the speed of the text is controlled by the length of the effect. It will start off screen and end off screen and take as long as the duration of the effect. So now it's moving very slowly. You notice when it gets over uh, anything on the screen, we see it in the original unmasked colors, uh, just like it was. The hat shows up very clearly, and that's what it does. So I'll stop it there. Now let's let's say we want to speed that up. Well, the only way to do it is to change the duration. We'll cut it by maybe a third. I'll go trim only. And we'll start here. It's same text. And all of a sudden we get the blur and now it's moving uh, quite a bit faster. Let's look at what we can control on the text blur. I'll double click on it. I can control the contrast. If I put it all the way down. It's very, it's uh, not quite as fuzzy. All the way up, it's very dense, very darkish blue there. So that's my option. I can control the degree of blur down to one. You can, there's not much at all. And way up here, it's extremely fuzzy. I can control the scroll. There are three left scrolls and three right scrolls. And each one is parallel to the other except for the direction. So if I click on left two and go ahead and start to play, now I have three, one major moving left and two minor moving right. If I choose to take this and I want to do scroll left three and go ahead and play, now I have one moving left and tiny ones moving in angles to the right. This is the only way you can control the location of the text on the screen, except for one other thing. You can control the font. And so the bigger the font, the more screen space it takes. Let's turn it to 72. And now I'll just use the scroll left one again. And we'll go ahead and play the remainder of that clip. And there we go. So I have very little control over uh, where it is. I control the length by the duration of the effect, but that's about it. Uh, a little bit about the degree, the fuzziness, and then I can control the title. Right now it says today only. I can change it to anything I want. Um, And the length of the text will not affect the length that's on the screen. That's controlled simply by the duration. I'll go ahead and close that. We'll go back and play it, and you'll see a different text here. And it's got the same effect. And again, the duration is controlled by the, controls the uh, speed, apparent speed with which it goes across the screen. So that's the blur effect. The second one we're going to look at is the, uh, it's called the SEPA effect, text SEPA. And what it does is it modifies the colors a little bit. Again, the text you type in, and this one I tried to type in several hundred characters, and guess what? It took them all. I don't know what the actual limit is, but I typed in so many that in this short time, they fly across. <laughs> so um, I didn't count them, but... Uh, you can get quite a few characters in a short period of time if you want to. Again, when we double click on it, we'll see what we can control. I can control the font color. 
Um, I can control the background color of the SEPA. I can control what's in my title. I can control the background degree. If I move it to the right, it's more pronounced. There's more yellow because that's my background. And here it's more faint, less apparent. I can control the uh, degree of the font. I move it to the left and I move it all the way to the right and you see a change here. And I control the font again. And then I've got my four standard motions, three left and three right. So that's the SEPA version of it with a lot of, uh, lot of text there. Um, and so you have that option as well. And again, if I stretch it out, it would be a lot, it would go more smoothly. And the third one is called text shear. And uh, th this turns uh, the background into a bit of a fuzzy color or impression. And here, because it's very few letters and a very long duration, it crawls pretty slowly across the screen. And uh, we'll double click on it to look at what we can do. We have the contrast we can change. And you see one end and the other. We have the degree again. I, I have it up to 20. We can reduce it and make it a little less intense. We can control the four kinds of fonts. Uh, we can control the text that's in there. And we can control the font style, type, uh, anything we want here. Uh, let's try a different one just for fun. Let's try this Gouldie. And we'll cut it down to 28 and click on OK. We go ahead and play. And here we have our font. That's number three variation. I'll uh, stop that. Let's try the fourth one. The fourth one's called X-Ray. Again, same principles. Uh, if I go ahead and uh, click, it kind of inverts the colors. Uh, this is one, I think this is the third option in terms of what goes there. And uh, we'll stop it so you can see what the settings are. I have just my hat as a title. All here I have is the motion and the font and the degree. If I move it left, it's more like normal, the farther to the right the more the colors get a little bit opposite on the color spectrum. So that's what I have when I do this one. Again, uh, the duration controls the apparent speed, and I can't control anything about where it occurs on the screen except choosing one of these six options. I don't know exactly where and when I would use these special effects, but uh, this is an, uh, an overview of, of how to do text masking four different ways in CyberLink PowerDirector.